I love to permit fish. Everybody knows I like to permit fish and they're always asking, what is my favorite permit rig? Now, it's pretty simple. I like this Cabo, Quantum Cabo rod. It's seven feet long and I'll choose one of two models. I'll either use the medium action or the medium heavy action. This one is a medium action, line weight eight to 17 pounds. The other rod I like is a medium heavy, line weight 12 to 20 pounds, both seven feet long and pretty much I can almost catch, uh, the, between those two rods, that's probably 90% of my fishing. A little heavier for the tarpon fishing, and shark fishing, and stuff like that, but anything, uh, permit, redfish, bonefish, you know, all of those smaller fish, uh, that's the best combination. And then I'm gonna attach a fluorocarbon leader to it, and you know, I'm not gonna go tie these knots right now, but if you wanna go to our YouTube page, you can check out how to tie each one of these. This is a Bimini twist, to a double uni knot and I've got 30 pound fluorocarbon. Now with this, I want to tie a circle hook onto the end of this. And the circle hook that I like to use is this World Offshore Angler Worldwide Sportsman circle hook 4 aught or 5 aught, depending on the size of, of the crab. Uh, 4 aught is good for the smaller crabs and 5 aught is better for the bigger crabs. Now, uh, you notice that I'm not talking about smaller permit or bigger permit. It's about the size of the bait that I'm throwing. So with a four-aught circle hook like this, I'm going to tie a clinch knot, which I use a lot. Um, one, two, three, four, five times around, through the hole, wet it down, and then pull it tight. So that's my permit rig. I've got a 30-pound fluorocarbon leader attached to braid, and it's not too long, so it's going to impair my cast. My tip-top guide is going to be about right there, giving me about this much overhang, and I'm going to be able to throw the crab out there. Now, a lot of people also ask about crab selection and, uh, and, and how to hook them on, and, and you know what? That's a really good question because when you're permit fishing, you might go for a long time without catching a fish. You might just be casting at them. And, or you might not see one for a while. Unfortunately, that's kind of the, the nature of the fishing. Um, so what you want to do is you want to hook your crab so it's going to stay alive the longest, and you want to pick a pick a good uh, a good crab that has a lot of um, life to it. And what we want to do is uh, is hook them right through the edge of the shell, and then while you're fishing, you want to keep that crab in the water, not necessarily in a bucket, but they're fine just in the water off the side of the boat. So I like to use the smallest crab that I can comfortably throw. So that depends on the weather conditions. If it's ultra calm, it's going to be very hard to get a, a small crab out there far enough. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this right on the edge of this shell. Now there's a trick to that. I don't want to go into the body. If I hook this crab like this, he's going to last seconds. Over here, maybe a little bit longer, but if I can get right on the edge of, you can see where it turns from dark to lighter, this white part being his body and those are his internal organs. Over here, it's just a shell. So if I try to just cram this hook through there, I'm gonna break a shell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start the point of the hook towards the very edge of, of the crab. And then I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna start drilling a hole. Through the, through the crab gently, okay? And you can see that the, that the point of the hook is starting to come through the shell. Now, if I just cram that through, I'm gonna break this off and I'm gonna kill my crab. So I'm just gonna continue to drill, drill this through, making as small a hole as I can. Now, when a, a small hole is good because the, the barb of the hook isn't gonna fall out. So I, I'm just careful about how I put these on and I just drill that right through there rather than, than cramming it through. Okay, so I'll, I'll finish doing that. And it's gonna come right through the shell like that. Okay, so this is my permit rig. I've got a 50 size Quantum Cabo reel, 20 pound braid attached to 30 pound fluorocarbon and I'm using a seven foot, eight to 17 pound rod or a seven foot, 12 to 20 pound rod. That's it, real simple, very effective.